We're going to start with this video. It is graphic, but how the story unfolded is troubling. The video shows a driver who appears to intentionally run over two people in a San Jose parking lot. Now, the victims survive, but what surprised even police is that the suspect is just a teenager. NBC Barry's Damon Trujillo is at Juvenile Hall with a closer look at what happened. That suspect is here now. Police say what's especially troubling is that this is the latest in a series of crimes involving minors, and it was all caught on tape. But we must warn you, the images are troubling. The video is disturbing. A crime caught on camera. You can see people running before a car slams into two of them. It happened in the early morning hours of September 23rd after a confrontation inside a restaurant on Alum Rock Avenue. The footage is very graphic and very telling of the callousness of this suspect. The only thing more shocking than that is that this individual is 16 years old. Police say it's the latest evidence of a troubling trend. Minors committing very serious crimes, like last month's deadly hit and run in a stolen car that killed a pregnant school teacher and her child. Two teens were arrested and the many violent retail thefts occurring across the state. But as officers, yes, it's absolutely a, a terrible thing to see a young person not only committing those crimes, but the very likelihood that they are throwing their lives away at such an early age. Privately, officers will tell you there is another issue, the fact that juveniles face few consequences for their criminal actions. Santa Clara County Juvenile Hall has 348 beds. Only 76 minors are there now. County stats show 60% of youth brought into Juvenile Hall are released after a detention hearing. Most are 16 to 17 year olds, and most of those are in for serious felonies against other people. The juvenile um, justice system is not a criminal system as in adults. Um, it's designed to rehabilitate uh, the young offenders. Attorney Ruben Munoz defends juveniles in court. There are consequences, but we cannot equate juveniles with adults because they're young, they're immature, their brains function very differently than adult brains. A debate that pins victims of violent juvenile crimes against those who believe leniency gives youth a better chance to turn their lives around. In the South Bay, Damian Trujillo, NBC Bay Area News.